Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Show. Good morning. I'm Calvin. Thanks for stopping by today. The subject of my vlog today is update day 30 of our new home construction. I'm going to be able to answer a few more questions. One is, a guy asked me, is there a road going back to your place? And that's why I walked over here to show you that. But before I get started, let me welcome my new viewers and new subscribers. Thank you so much for your kindness, your generosity, your support of my channel. It's truly amazing, and I'll never take that for granted. People always ask me, why do you always say that? And why do you always go into that spiel? Because I want to give my new viewers and new subscribers some context. I didn't just drop out of the sky. And I wasn't born over here in the Philippines. I'm a, I'm a 58 year old American who grew tired of the rat race and decided to move here in search of a new life. I just wanna share with you my new life. Simple as that. You know, let people know, hey, you got some options, you know. You can recreate your life without borders. But this is day 30 and I'm walking back. You can see it's a well-beaten path. Cars and motorcycles, and eventually, this is going to be a thriving subdivision. And what I want to show you is, see all these houses are close together. So when you see my house being close together, good morning, Ryan Buntag. Yeah, uh, you're going to know that, I believe this is a street that goes all the way down. You'll see that, and then, when you notice my house, you're gonna see a row of houses. There, here, I'm gonna show y'all my electric pole today. They've already installed that. We, uh, we had a orientation we had to attend last week to get the water cut on. And that's, it should be cut on by now. But I'm not sure. See, if you see this street here, you know, they, by it not being owned by the government, it's not paved or anything, but you can definitely see the road. Hey, my own boat dog. And you'll see all these places. Because they asked me, say, what? With all this open space, why didn't you? Why'd you build so close to those other houses? I don't think I had a choice. You know, first of all, that's where the land was available. I had to buy it. And another question I wanted to address is, could I have built this house for less? Absolutely. And here's how I could have done it. I could have just hired the engineer to draw up the design. But then I would have had to be responsible for going out, hiring a crew, buying all the materials, staying over here practically eight hours a day to make sure the work's getting done. It defeats my purpose because see, This has to be done right the first time. There's no do-overs. And I told the engineer that when I first met him. So I didn't, we don't have a, a money chest, you know, it's overflowing with money. We have a budget. And we only get one time at this, guys. But certainly I could have did it. And I don't go into a whole lot of detail about the land and all of that because you have to understand it's just like a budget, ladies and gentlemen. It just depends on where you live over here. It's not going to, I'm not going to help you by, if you live in Luzon or even if you live in Cebu or Mindanao, say, hey, how much did you pay for that 180 um, meter lot? And then I tell you, then you get over here and you say, oh, I lied. No, 
and it depends on where you buy it. See, if you buy it in the province, you're going to get a whole lot cheaper. But yeah, I could have done it cheaper, but it would have been a bigger headache. And you can see where they filled up the roofs getting ready to go on. One day this week, I was with the engineer yesterday. You see, they went all the way from here all the way to the top. It's really looking good. I guess my watchman's in their sleep. But we're going to go around first. And you know, I would have defeated the purpose, guys. Y'all have to understand that it's all about being stress-free over here. Okay, yeah, I'm going to probably pay a few extra thousand dollars, but so what? I mean, you're talking about $20,000. And I don't mind the engineer earning some money. Hell, he's earning it. Now he's got to be over here every day on these guys' back, making sure they doing the work. And see, another thing that's good about having an engineer, especially in my case, because I don't know anything about building houses. I'm not, I work with my brain. I don't work with my hands, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just telling you, that's what I do. It would have been missing that, that expert eye. See, because y'all don't even know it, but over here, when they first put the rebarn across, he came and it was the wrong, uh, they had the wrong rebar. The rebar should have been here and this one should have been there. See, I would have never noticed that. See, he keeps them honest. You know, he makes sure that everything's done by the specs and that's what I wanted because, I mean, you know, this is it. You know, despite what you hear and everything, no, no, no. But yeah, I could have did this cheaper. And also, here's another question I wanted to answer. Uh, gentleman says, hey, why don't you buy that property behind you? Well, somebody lives here, believe it or not. I mean, I can't just go in there and buy their property and say, hey, uh, I need your property because it's going to make my life a whole lot more <laughs> more convenient. You know, a lot of these land disputes and stuff like this is what gets you in trouble over here. And then he has to realize, where am I going to get the damn money, man? You know, y'all are really getting, y'all missing the point why, why I'm even taking you through this update. I mean, I had a, a, one of, a guy, one of my subscribers, I consider him a friend now, Victor. He called me yesterday and said, man, you get some unbelievable com comments whenever you uh, do an update on your house. I said, I know because most of these people have never been to the Philippines before. They don't understand. I'm not in America. I'm not in England. I'm not in France. You know, and we get a lot of questions, you know, not only about the calls, but, you know, one guy today says, hey, you know, that third world quality of work, he says. And I need to remind him that every house you see, every single house you see when you come to the Philippines is built this way and they're still up. As a matter of fact, they're designed and made a whole lot more sturdy to, to be able to, because they're on the Pacific Rim. It's what my engineer told me yesterday. He said, all of these houses are what they call in his field over design because they have to withstand the earthquakes and different things that go on over here. It's not a lot of fabricated materials that you see in houses in America. That's why you're able to put them up so quick. These things are as sturdy as it comes, man, you know, but because you're seeing it differently, you think it's inferior, but it's not. Yeah, that roof is really coming together, man. That was, that was quick. Yeah, when you get over here, you see, and you know, y'all just, you're missing, a lot of y'all are missing the point altogether. I'm just showing you that it can be done. I'm showing you what $20,000 can do. And yes, you can get a house in lot over here and build a house like this for $20,000. I paid a little bit more because I've got an engineer. It seems like, you know, I'm paying more. But I want it done right. I don't have all that money that people 
make y'all think I've got, man. It had to be done right the first time. And you got to understand something. This is just not my dream. This is so my daughter can dream one day. It's not about me. So come on, guys. Cut me a break in these comments. I don't know half the questions that y'all... I don't know how to answer half the questions y'all want me to ask. I'm just telling you that I'm over here in the Philippines. <coughs> Excuse me. 58 years old. I'm building a house. $20,000. That should make anybody that has any plans, whether it's over here in the Philippines or anywhere else, it should make you happy. It should make you say, hey, you know, he's showing us that it's possible. And that's what it's all about, man. I just want to be an example. You know, one guy said, uh, check yourself. A black guy, I guess, because he said, you're not white. And I'm like, well, what's that got to do with it, man? Come on. But yeah, work's coming along. That's that rock, man. They do it bucket by bucket. I guess they, they've been working on the roof, so they didn't get a lot of that done. They'll probably start doing that today. Cause they're gonna level this all around and and then pour the floor there's no fancy equipment either for any of you guys who won't who keep asking me that where's the bobcat where's this where's that these guys are skilled man they do they've been doing this for years and because it's different doesn't make it inferior this is a 52 square meter house, hollow block, with a metal uh, roof eventually. This is my bedroom. Pretty soon that scaffolding will be all out of here. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this week. And well, a guy asked me, he says, Calvin, I didn't see the door to your room. There it is. Well, I told you there it is. There's going to be a wall here. There's going to be a wall here. It's going to come across here and go over to here to close in my room. But yeah, there's my door. Then the girls' room is their door. Then the bathroom door. So yeah, that that's that. And I'm about 16 inches off the ground. For anybody who wants to know about the leverage in the event of flooding, you know, and over here in Margarita Village, in Margarita Village Extension, here in San Carlos City, they have a history of flooding, but not in this area. And I'm thankful for that. Uh, let me go back in here. Is that room again? Yeah, I'm thankful for that. But I mean, what can you do? You know, you have to take that in account when you build over here. It's a lot of things you got to take the weather in account. Uh, and I've done that, you know. Now where her mother owns a house, her mother owns a house and has been owning it for years. It's in a place called Villa Ronte over here. Barang uh, you know, Barangay, I think it's Barangay 2. But the subdivision is called Villarante. And man, do they have problems with this nice house is back there too. A lot of them houses are really nice. Here's that little hallway I was telling you about. But boy, they have a history. I mean, they really get it when it comes to floods. Flooding, I mean, really. I mean, you anytime after a big rainstorm, you go by there and you see people with sandbags and you see mud all over the place. It's my bathroom, man. Yes, it's a little bit, a little bit bigger than the bathroom I've got at home. And I'm probably not going to install that hot water heater. I was talking to the engineer yesterday, and he told me, he said, Calvin, he said, you know, here in St. Carlos, you're probably not going to be able to use that as much as you think. He said, it's going to be a waste of money, he said, because... A lot of times the water pressure here is not enough for it to 
you know, to be of any use. And I'm going to take his word for it. He's the expert. This is my dining room area with the kitchen. I'm going to step back here so you can get a good view of my living room. I never show y'all really my living room, but it's not, it's not really small. Okay, it starts... Okay, this wall, well, the doors, you come in, it comes all the way back, really, to here. Because my, you know, the dining room, basically, is just my dinette set. You know, we sit there and eat, that's it. All this room in here, we're going to use, you know, for the couch, for the chairs, the tables, and different things like that. So, thank you so much for stopping by. This is day 30 of our new house construction and it's it's moving along thank you everybody for joining me 52 square meters total cost 1 million pesos about twenty thousand dollars could i have it done cheaper absolutely but you have to realize now i got a lot of headache i gotta go out and hire the crew i've got to buy all the materials I've got to be over here every day looking over their shoulder. See? And it's two things that I'm going to be missing. Number one of them is that trained eye that's needed on a construction site. See? that my engineer provides. And then, because that keeps an honest man honest. See, those are the two main reasons, man. I don't want to be over here every single day buying this material. See, if it walks off, he's responsible for it. Like what happened over at Donna Faye's place when I was building it, and the material starts. See, I'm not responsible for that he is and this has to be done right guys the first time this is about money yeah my lack of it you know i can't go over here i can't be over here eight thousand miles away rolling the dice i hired an engineer to make sure it was done right and done right the first time and i got one of the best in the city i didn't even know it that's just how the universe works, see? He's honest. He has, he has more money than me. He has no reason to cheat me. He's not that way, and that's how, it's not how you build up a reputation over here in the Philippines. So if you're in America, it's getting late, and I hope before you go to bed tonight, you find somebody to help. But if you're on one of them late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, you're just getting off second shift, or you're on your lunch break and you see somebody in the street, bound something to eat, bound something to drink, give them a few dollars. Here's my electric pole here. I almost forgot to show y'all. Okay. It's right next to theirs. There's theirs. Here's ours. This is the main pole. They haven't got it uh, wired or anything yet, I don't believe. But I think they do. But it's going to come from this line here one of these lines out here you can see three of them and connect to there and then go into my house if you're in the philippines it's about 7 20 a.m we have the whole rest of the day to find somebody to help there's no excuse not to go out and intensely find somebody to help man you know i wanted to say that on my video yesterday that critical filipina theory you see those two little girls running up to me. See, they saw me walking, and they got off the tricycle. Now, you got to understand something. You're not going to see this in your country. These are little girls. They couldn't be no more than seven or eight. They're actually living on the streets, fending for themselves. It's heartbreaking, man. Now, if you are tough enough and to, to bypass that... You know, I'm not mad at you, but I feel sorry for you, see? And I see a lot of expats doing that, you know. They won't buy these kids nothing to eat. They'll say, 
I'll send them over there to the government. Well, no, no, uh-uh. We don't really know their whole situation. You don't know anything about the government over here, but you say send them to the government. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay COVID-free. I'll see you next time.